Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, there. I have to move quick, you know. Because I don't want the camera to stop working, you know. Even though I record with the phone, I want to use it. Just make it quick and fast, bro. So, first of the face here, the voice of the other side, because I'm No English in the interest. We have the Deadly War in Nottingham, Raddy versus Top Valley. Me never even know, say, obviously, everywhere have them owner, man, them, and gang, them, and Ray, but. I've never heard of anything or anybody from Nottingham. The only thing about Nottingham we know is Nottingham Forest. You understand the football club. So let's jump into the video. Hit the like button, jump in the comments, and subscribe. Let's go. The Deadly War in Nottingham. Uh, Nottingham isn't that well known of a. Why that look like Central Sea? Oh, the Deadly War in Nottingham. A Central Sea cousin. Central B. Nottingham isn't that well known of a city compared to London, Birmingham or Manchester, but it has been put on the map multiple times Science. with rappers Science. such as SV, M. Way and Young T and Bugsy. SV was from Nottingham, that nigga with a crazy mask and a deep voice but he's like 4 feet tall. In the 90s and early 2000s Nottingham was known as Shottingham due to the insane amount of gun crime. Around these times the Bestwood crime family, Yardis and Pakistanis were the most dominant gangs and Bro, why Jamaicans always have to involve in a anything for do with crime, dog? Why? Why we love crime so much, brother? No, bro, we need, we need for fix up. St. Anne's was the worst block in the whole city. This is where the name Shottingham came from. There are many gangs from Nottingham such as Croft Block, Sixes, CMG and Way 2. However, in this video I'll be discussing two main gangs who are on the opposite sides of the city. The first gang is from Radford NG7. It is one of the most infamous gangs in the city and in 2016 they shot lamps from Woodgreen when he lived in Nottingham and repped CMG for a short period. Surprisingly, this is the- Wait, 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 wait. What did I just hear? Gangs in the city and in 2016 they shot lamps from Woodgreen when he lived in Nottingham and repped CMG for- Oh, okay, okay. Bro, I thought they just solved the unsolved murder, you know, for ye that we've been trying to figure out for years, you know. I swear, but they say it was when he was living in Nottingham and he was repping CMG. Okay. 16, they shot lamps from Woodgreen when he lived in Nottingham and repped CMG for CMG. a short period. Surprisingly, this is the only time he was touched by ops apart from the time he was killed by N15. L bro. Alright, he, he never say any names, but can we confirm that? Can anybody from N15? Alright, no. No, that's asking them to do too much self-snitching. But they do it anyway, bro. They do it on all their trucks anyway, bro. So what's the difference if I ask them to self-snitch? There is no difference, bro. You're still saying the same thing on the internet. Anyway, did we just solve the murder? Was it NVV? Uh, I don't know. You man, let me know when you're thinking of the comments, you know. Who you think do it? Bradford, also known as Raddy, is made up of a whole list of sets, Raddy. but the main two are BTS and TPS, standing for bottom side and top side. Yo, as a Jamaican, why for the bottom? Why? Why for that? Why? Why for that? Braddy has been highly active for decades and right now they are still on it. They have two rappers still from their it. set called M Way and H Muller as well as Shaq who are all Raddy members. Braddy's main ops are CMG from NG3 and Top Valley from NG5. In this video Yo. I'll be focusing on the beef with NG5. One thing I can say though, the man them look like them man make money. So. They're set called M Way and H Muller as well as Shaq who are all Raddy members. Hold on, hold on. Raddy's main ops are CMG from NG... Alright, not these guys. These guys look like some South London drillers bro. You know what I'm saying? From 2008, 2006. You see me? G3 and Top Valley from NG5. I just, them, me, alright, never mind. It's really this guy still. He's the only guy that looks like he's making bread. Alright, never mind. It's only because I've seen this guy over here with the chain and the mask. I thought, yeah, everybody else look like them rich, but he's the only person. Never mind. Five. Damn. In this video, I'll be focusing on the beef with NG5. NG5 has two main blocks called Top Valley and Arnold Hill. 
Top Valley is the main set in NG5 and are known for their use of guns. Watch the man with the real nephew white rum, brother. You see what I mean? Even our rum are influence madness over there so in England, bro. Like, bro, Jamaicans, we have, bro, we, we're into too much, bro. We need to calm down, brother. Top Valley is the main set in NG5 and are known for their use of guns. Yeah. Top Valley are a much smaller gang than Rad. What is that a sweet one? And are known for their use of guns. Mellow. Top Valley. Mmm. She not that sweet. Nah. And to be honest, any sweet one that I see comfortable around gang members, immediately I think she got gang banged already, bro. Immediately I'm thinking the man them ran a train on this girl. That's why she's so comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that bad? No, not really. Because most of the girl them around the gang members, they have been run through, bro. It's rare you ever find a girl that only ever sleep with one man in other gang. Rare, bro. Ali are a much smaller gang than Raddy, but they are still holding it down for their set. <laughs> Top. They have to tell her to get out the way, you know? Much smaller gang than Raddy, but oh, they are well, still holding it down for their set. Top Valley have two very famous rappers, Young T and Bugsy, who Young invited a lot of Top Valley members to. Oh, I think I've seen these guys before. Famous rappers. Young T and Bugsy, yeah. who invited a lot of Top Valley members to the video shoot with Heady One. The events in this story will have taken place in the last few years as details are hard to find and a lot of this information is alleged. Yeah. So the beef between these two sets have always been hot and is alleged. So the beef between these two Bro, she's even a smoker. Bro, she's definitely been run through, bro. Sets have always been hot and before it became worse, F1 from Raddy killed a man and was jailed and some speculations are that he was somehow linked with Top Valley. However, the main beef kicked off in an attack that took the whole of the UK by shock. The whole of the UK? Awagwan. The On Monday 12th of October 2022, BTS mem- Yo, this is the, the beat where- um, what a guy name again? He tried to run and go, Chef, don't do legs, I'll chop off your legs. I chop that. What him name again? I was there when your bro got chinged. In fact, I'm the one that fucking did it. Rolling the block and ching it there. And I'm pissed to the photo spinning. What's that guy's name, bro? You remember what his name is. Don't do legs, I'll chop off your legs. What's his name? On Monday 12th of October 2022 BTS members known as Maz and DP were in the town centre waiting for the bus when they saw a Top Valley member called Trap Spot walk right past them. He was on the phone to his bank at the time. He was recognised quickly as he was quite a locally famous rapper who made multiple disses towards Raddy in his songs. Imagine, we're just sitting here waiting for the bus and the golden duck just walk right past us the golden goose of ups just walk right past us for uh, honest even as, as well you just you, he said he's a famous rapper that makes a lot of disses to the other side so you fully at this man from the next side and just a walk past street bro i'm telling you some of these guys bro i swear it's just a clout thing because how you're going to make songs dissing a whole other side of people knowing that after you make this this somebody is going to want to retaliate physically are you still just a walk on street you're superman you're invincible all right well go see he and other members from both top valley and cmg were heavily dissing y9 who was a raddy affiliate who was sadly killed in 2019 Maz and DP were baitface and approached Trapspot, with Maz pulling out a ZK and stabbing Trapspot multiple times. Unfortunately, Bro, did you see the nank in his hand? Look at what these guys are running with, and then go and see me, and I say, I want running! I want running! I start running! I start running! What do you mean? I'm a rare nigga, got a blast! Into the stars, you buy candy bar, bro. I'm gone, bro. Call me Jimmy Neutron, bro. I'm out there. I got a blast. I'm gone. Look at what he has in his hand. Me supposed to stay there with that? Me, bro. I'm not that fast, bro. I'm not Usain Bolt. I know I'm Jamaican, but I'm not Usain Bolt, bro. Stop taking the piss, fam. What the? 
What am I supposed to do against that? Pulling out a ZK and stabbing trap spot multiple times. Unfortunately, he died soon after in front of a busy street in the town center with hundreds witnessing the whole thing. Maz and DP both made an escape with DP being arrested on the bus and Maz being arrested soon after near the high... Yo, this lady snitched on him. She even pointed at him. With DP being arrested on... I don't know who came on the bus, but I'm sure she just snitched on this nigga. And the thing is, I'm sure other people saw that he was the one that stabbed and ran away from the stabbing and everybody's like, yo, Ray, Ray. Damn, that's crazy. On the bus and Maz being arrested soon after near the high-rise flats. Maz. So they didn't even last long. Like, they literally got bugged the same night. Eldrill. That's such an Eldrill. Although making an escape was quickly identified as he dropped his phone at the scene. It's unknown Eldrin. what happened right after, but not long after the killing took place. Yo, this brother look like a Jamaican guy that I know. I swear to God, this guy look familiar. Montel from Top Valley was charged with attempted murder after stabbing a Radford member allegedly leaving him blind and around the same time a Radford GM was also charged for a stabbing that occurred. Around a year after the in You leave him blind? <laughs> Bro, like... I know I say this every Deadly War video, but bro, can we just stay inside, bro? Like, I'm, I can't see now because I'm in a gang. I cannot see. No, bro. No, no. I cannot see. I cannot be. I cannot. D. Why for the D? Why for that? Why for that? Don't even continue. Incident took place. Mesh and other Top Valley members were jailed for 45 years for a double shootings that took place. Another incident that I could add, that may have- Yeah, that's the numbers I, I like to hear. 45. Yeah, go over there. Go sit down somewhere, boy. Over here making it hard for the community. Go sit your ass down over there, boy. Think about the f*** you did for 45 years, nigga. When the man is in me for a double shooting, but I can literally walk up to somebody insert my nank into their eyeball and get less time that makes no sense that literally makes no sense so it's honestly it's better you better you be a nanker and a stabber rather than a shooter honestly it's just that you run more risk when you do that but in terms of running a risk of jail time it look like as, as as long as you're stabbing people then you'll get the, the lighter sentence you'll get the 20 years out of the way but for a double shooting, you get 45. Did anybody even die? You never say it was deadly. Deadly double shooting or a fatal double shooting. It was just a double shooting. So you can bust your gun two times and get 45 years. But if I nank you in the eyeball, I can get 12 years for manslaughter. So stupid. Have happened due to this beef was a stabbing of a Top Valley affiliate that was allegedly done by a member of North Side who have ties with Raddy. On the 10th of August 2022 RC from Radford was stabbed to death. He was an older man and may have changed his life around but unfortunately still suffered the consequences. That's one thing we mean alike. When them say older man, in, not in other drilling Asia where you don't have no direct beef with this nigga, right? I'm assuming because most of the time I saw it go, he people only really beef with them age group necessarily or people with them interact with on a regular basis. And you only really go interact with people around your age group on a regular basis. So you only ever, you only ever really beef people in your own age group for the most part, unless you know something specific happen and you know beef in an older nigga or a younger nigga. But for the most part, is people your age so when the money maga get older now and change them life who like i need to know bro who did it was it a young nigga who did it or an old nigga with some old beef like it's just not worth it you can't even get old and change your life around you can't even do that in peace so what's the point of doing this in the first place he loved all over the city and it's crazy to think that the beef is this deadly in a city 30 times smaller than London and no one has talked about it. 
30 times smaller than London and no one has thought about it. That means everybody has thought about it. That means everybody know. And everybody know what go on and who did it and why and the beef and the ray and the... Boom. No, sir. Nothing I'm crazy, bro. This is insane. No wonder we don't get music from there, bro. Everybody's shooting everybody. The street life isn't a life worth living. No. Get your money and leave. Facts. R.I.P. man. R.I.P. to everyone involved. You get me? But there's one more. This one. Yeah, because this one's two minutes long. So I'm just going to put these two together. And then, yeah. So let's see the next side of the Nottingham beef. OBD versus Way 2. Let's go. In my last video I covered the deadly beef in Nottingham and in this video I'll be covering another beef in Nottingham which hasn't seen as many casualties but still made its way all over the news. Everything in this video is alleged and command knowledge. The two main areas I'll be covering in this story is Snenton NG2 and Old Base for NG6. NG6 is the home to many NG gangs including Croft six. Block and Sixers but for okay. this case I'll be looking at OBD which is also known as B-Side. Right. On the other end of this beef I'll be looking at a gang called Way 2. Way 2. Way to go. 2 was originally one big gang who controlled Snenton but the group eventually sp- Bro why does this always happen? Why was everybody grouped up and clicked up and you know, controlling the most drugs in the area and now we're beefing and now people have to die. Why Why is the story so similar in almost every video we watch? I don't like that, you know. Man, them need to fix up, dog. Learn some communication skills or something, bro. Like, the man, them can talk out them problems, you know. Or well, probably not. I'll shut up. Split up leading I'll to many up. members switching at a set called Southside, also known as SS2. Although the SS2 members were a part of the beef, they are not as involved now, with the youngers being more active and involved I mother beefs. Back when Way 2 was one gang they were beefing OBD for quite some time. There were multiple stabbings and shootings on both- I don't know why but like just seeing the slow mos of these guys I'm like, yeah fam you guys need me like, yeah fam like I can't tell you guys are up to no good. Like, you know, you probably haven't had a positive thought all day. Like, I'm looking at this guy and I'm like, bro, I, do, I, I wouldn't even make my, my, I wouldn't even make a catfish meet you, bro. Because you might nank up the catfish for being upset that she's a catfish. You know, like, bro, I wouldn't make anybody go around you. We're beefing OBD for quite some time. There were multiple stabbings and shootings on both sides, but the beef made it on the news when Reeks from OBD was killed by way two members. Beeks was a member of OBD and was involved before his death. He was seen in a music video and before his death he was allegedly involved in an attack and robbery of an op, who we can assume is a Way 2 member. Way 2 didn't take this beef lightly so in February 2018 a girl set up Reeks to go and meet her. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, you see why sometimes like, I say shit like, you know, like, Sometimes that all women do is just piss me off. Listen to that, bro. But don't get me wrong, you know, it's the love, bro. It's the love-hate relationship. Because you know if a sweet one comes on the screen, we're going to pause and analyze a sweet one. But, bro, I'm tired of these women setting up niggas, bro. I'm tired of the man them being set up by these chicks. And when, a lot of times when you look at these girls, bro, they're nothing to even be set up by, bro. But not more than the man them, I think, with them penis you know what i'm saying think with the the, the 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 second head instead of the main head and the man them just end up get you know catfish gang don't believe in snap you know what i'm saying free got cut the for the vag that that shit real bro that's not a joke or just some lyrics bro like the girl them i set up the man them nowadays bro so i don't like me i tell you for like stop the with the girl them but just because i how do you even how do you even stop yourself from being set up by a set up chick? How you do that? How you stop yourself from being set up by a set up chick? How? Like how you gonna know who she really know from her ends or maybe she used to come from the, the, the ops ends and then she move over here. So you think that she's from over here but really she's from over there. Like, I don't know man. Them thing I make me just wanna avoid women bro. 
and I'm not a gang member, I'm still want to avoid them. Because same way, them can set me up for make the ex-boyfriend gang member come rob my house and rob me too. And same so I end up on a shirt because of a female. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. I don't trust women, bro. Mm -mm. At a park in Stockwell in Bullwell in NG6. He was then confronted and chased down by the way two members and was eventually stopped. When he was stopped by the way two members they beat him up and stabbed him and he unfortunately died five days later in hospital. Reeks was shouted out on songs and the beef became very hot. It has sort of died down after the way two members who killed Reeks were lifed off. However OBD members still dis- Oh, alright. So the thing with that now, a lot of times the drillers them will say, they can't really get the get back because the guys who killed him are in jail or they're in prison. So there's no real get back to get. But some other gangs, they don't care. They don't care if the two guys that killed my friend are in jail. They might come back, come kill three of your friend. What do you mean? SS2 and way two members on songs and considering a lot of members on both sides are locked with each other, it doesn't look like the beef will die down anytime soon. Man them, we need to do better, I swear. But the whole point of these videos is to show you and me like how bad we're actually doing out here in these streets, bro. It's just the bad they just keep killing each other, bro. And the thing is, it happened from the start of time and it will happen till the end of time. There's nothing we can do to stop people from having personal conflicts and there's nothing we can do to tell them how to solve it. Some people just are going to be more violent and more aggressive than others and they're going to come together to make their violence and aggression work even better so gangs will always be a part of society so we're gonna always have videos to watch ha <laughs> so i like this big up shottingham big up obd way too big up the gangs from the last video <coughs> Oh, wow, that's it. I think it was like NG6 or NG2. Big up the whole of Nottingham, the whole of the NG, them, and yes, I say, all of the postcode, them in Nottingham. Yes, I say. If you have any more like outskirts, towns, or cities, or areas that have a crazy war or beef going on where you want me to check out, let me know. Not the day, if that but hit the like button, then I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? For that shout. Anyway, I'm having way too much fun in this intro, bro. <laughs> Hit the like button, jump in the comments, and I'm out, my Nicholas. Thanks. Out, bug up.